<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kiara Dice. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, join the tribe, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget about TikTok. See, I'm going to say that a little bit different every time, so keep y'all on your toes. Okay, so I just bought like a bunch of stuff from Shane, and I, it came at the perfect time because I go, I have a wedding to go to tomorrow and a wedding to go to next week. I'm just weddings and weddings. My social calendar is just, is just booked to the brim, darling. Anyway, so I thought I would film a unboxing haul video while I talk about things that I'm thinking about simultaneously. And I thought the best thing to talk about would be fast fashion. Okay, so here's the, the box. It's like, I couldn't tell you how big this box is. Maybe on the top it'll say. Um, oh, weight is 3.987 or four kilograms. Okay, so that's a pretty big box. And you know, like, Sheen is just, I don't know, I, I love it. I love it. I feel like the whole fast fashion thing, I do agree with people's, like, um, issues with it, of course, because it's terrible. Terrible for the uh, environment and for, uh, um, what's it called? But, but yeah, I, let's, let's just, let's just get into, get into it. So there's this one girl on YouTube. I think she recently changed her YouTube name to, um, Fab Socialism. I forgot what her name was before. And I've watched some of her videos and she's like, talks about a lot of like social issues and, you know, she's like, oh, kind of like, you know, an SJW. I don't know, is that, is that derog derogatory? Cause I don't mean it in a shady way. Like she is a social justice warrior. I think that is kind of rude to call someone an SJW, but like, eh. Most people, at the end of the day, like, even though um, they criticize things like capitalism and fast fashion and all these things, we all participate in some kind of like, I don't know, like, cap in, in capitalism, we all participate. Consumption in general comes with environmental degradation and labor exploitation, period. Like that's that's just it. It's not like there's any avoiding it. I mean, I don't know, like think about it. Everything that you consume, everything, literally everything has like um, an environmental impact and it has a social impact, period, period. From the food you buy to the house you live in and, you know, you turn on your air conditioner, like there's exploitation there, okay? Because that's just how society was built. We don't have like automation. And I was watching this very interesting um, lecture yesterday. Now, I always tell you guys about this dude. His name is... Um, Lil Pong. Okay, I'll put the link in the description. It's all in Chinese. But I'm like, dude, I wish I had the time and uh, energy to like <laughs> to translate his lectures because they'd be so deep and so good. And they, he just like has this amazing perspective on the world. So he was talking about like the more you, we humans, like the more we evolve and the more society uh, advances, wait, I, I took notes, let me think of how, what he said, like, okay, the more society advances, like, the, the harsher, or, like, the, the more conditions, like, the more we need certain things, certain conditions to survive, okay, that's, that's kind of how, oh God, did you guys, like, get that was not a coherent, cohesive sentence, but basically, the more advanced we get, the more we need, right, for instance, like I, like I am, we're all 21st century human beings right now. You know, we can't survive without internet, you know? And that's all because of like, uh, you know, just technology. And like the more we get, the, the like I can't survive without air conditioning. And like, 
plumbing i can't do it you know like i need like these are the things that i need to survive we need to survive we aren't we can't just like yeah of course we, at the end of the day like we could probably go off the grid and live off the live off the land and just uh what's up but we're, we're knowledgeable of what else exists out there and having a certain standard of living so we have to have these certain things in order to continue to survive you know our survival is not just on the bare minimum we have so much more necessity and and the more that uh society progresses the more we need and the harder you know like, so that's basically what he was talking about but he was yeah so mm. anyway how does that relate to fast fashion basically what i'm saying is anything that you use it has it, it, it just does it's you know it sucks i mean eventually like things will be i don't know robots will be doing like all the mining imagine like you have your you know this girl's like uh talking all about the fast fashion industry and like oh my god there's so many pollutants and stuff like that but like let's talk about oil like oil the oil industry how do you how do we fuel our homes yeah we do like we have some like nuclear energy here and there maybe we're doing a little bit of like renewable stuff but like the vast majority of our energy needs comes from fossil fuels you know like that's what it comes from and how do we get fossil fuels i ain't going to get it i don't know that was, somebody's exploits somebody's labor is going into it somebody somewhere i don't know question mark who's i don't know but just like somebody's labor went into this like hey, speaking of our first piece <laughs> so, <laughs> this 90 i love a 90 i love me a 90 okay like a nightgown this is, this is just nightgown you know it's pink it's got uh it's got like like lace uh lace whatever so yeah so this was let's see where it's made of course it's made in china you know of course uh made in china like the thing is yeah i think that fast fashion is bad and i'm sure like there's so many companies out there who are like progressively going to uh become more sustainable or like do more sustainable business practices once sustainability becomes cheaper like that's just the reality of it that is what economics is it's not necessarily capitalism it's more like stuff needs to be cheap because you're not gonna buy it if it's if like the cost to make this nighty whitey is four hundred dollars you know what i mean like you're not gonna do that so and it, it kind of all comes full circle it ends up coming full circle because like china was a country or is country of like cheap labor but that is becoming china is becoming less and less cheap as it develops so sooner or later which is it gradually happening now companies china is not going to be the world's factory anymore they're slowly oh this is this is like a bra and panties like look, 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 look i cannot do single bras and panties anymore like ma'am we have stepped up our lingerie and i do sets now only and th that's thanks to sheen okay i'm not gonna be showing you my panties people but uh yeah yeah this is this is yeah um, okay, so wait, I was saying like China is is gradually becoming more expensive to have a factory and stuff like that there. And so companies are now um, seeking out even cheaper places to go, such as Vietnam, Bangladesh, anywhere in Southeast Asia, you know, overall. And then... Uh, yeah, and then as the people there, like, like China has now pretty much uh, created a, a middle class now. And now they are pretty much transitioning, just like the, the, every country goes through this. We think this stuff is like uh, unique to China, but it's not. Every country goes through this phase of like, okay, labor is cheap. You know, back in the day, most Americans did, I don't know what day, like, I don't know, like the, like the Industrial Revolution kind of day, you know, in the 1700s. And, you know, I'm talking about, like, right post-slavery. I'm, like, I'm, I'm talking about, like, the, like, workers, you know, workers before they had, like, labor laws and stuff like that. You know, they, they was working in factories 
in very abhorrent conditions as well. And um, it gradually got better. <laughs> it gradually got like labor law became a thing and unions and stuff like that. All that's happening in China. And um, I don't know about the union part. I don't know about that. I, I don't know, but but I think I think it's gonna it's, it's it's happening. It's happening. So China is like going through this like teenager stage, adolescent stage of being this uh, industrialized country, where they're going from being a what is it? What is the word I'm looking for? A goods economy to being a service economy, and what that means is they're not gonna be the world's factory for much longer they're gonna start you know be being the like with the united states and a lot of european countries i like they, they like import import export actually i meant export <laughs> they export services you know like i don't know financial services and and other services you know what i mean like tech services and things like that you know that's gonna be more of their thing so i bought this blouse it kind of gave me like, um, it reminded me of China. It just did, you know. Um, it smells very weird. It doesn't smell very good. I don't know what that smell is. It's not like a stink. It just smells like, I don't know, open something. I don't think I should be smelling that. Maybe I'll wash it. Like, it, girl, I don't even have a tag on here. I don't, like, what are the washing instructions? Okay, I'm going to hand wash this because I do that, like, you gotta be hand washing some of your stuff, your daily cups, okay? Okay, so more panties, darling. More panties, so yeah, so fast fashion. I'm totally here for like companies doing better. We gotta do better. The companies gotta do a little bit better. So then I have this, Oh, this is so cute. I love Sheen, okay? Sheen will get you right. Okay, I always will call. I was calling it she in. I'm still gonna call it she in. Like, is she in this girl? She up in this. Look at me. It's so cute. It's cute little loungewear pajama. Ooh, cause you gotta look. You gotta look good at home. Like, I feel like I'm just trying to be at the point where I look good round the clock. Period. Period. Ain't no period. And I'm wearing my Caradice shirt. Just shameless plug. I'll put the link, there's a link for this in the description as well. Um, yeah. Ooh, ooh, if it ain't got, if it ain't got fur or feathers, why, why is it here? These are little shoes, <laughs> a necessity, ma'am. Is that, is that all I got? And then I got two pairs of shoes. It's like I'm going to a wedding and I'm, I'm, I mean like yeah I mean if you really want to be sustainable when it comes to fashion you have to buy pre pre hmm, pre 70s anything before the 70s and I'll tell you why vintage because the 70s really marked a pivotal pivotal Time. I think it's even before the 70s. Let's just say anything like 60s and before. Because it, it, it marked a pivotal, piv can I say that word? Pivotal time in the textile industry because that's when they thought they're going to China and mass producing textiles like a crazy people. And so all your clothes started to become made, made in China. I remember I went to this vintage shop in, um, in in san francisco it was a consign consignment store and the lady like uh she was trying to sell me this thing and, and, and like i knew it was mass produced right because you look at the tag it says made in china if anything says made in china that means it's post 70s and that means it's been mass produced so it's not true vintage it's not one of a kind it is a mass produced skirt like you're not gonna you're not you're you're not gonna, you're not gonna do this to me, Bethany. I, her name was not Bethany. I don't know her name, but I just, the, the, the first name that came to my head was Bethany. Okay, let's see these shoes. Let's see which I'm gonna wear to the wedding. Did I get three pairs of shoes? Did I? Oh, I got three pa I got three pairs of shoes, shame on me. Um, yes, look at the, see, look, I'm, I can't wear heels. 
this is the best I can do. I want to be able to enjoy myself and not feel like I've put my foot through a paper shredder or something. <laughs> like, I just don't want to feel like that. You know, I don't. So look at these. They're really, they're really chic. Okay. Come on now. Yes. Yes. So I bought, I bought three pairs of shoes. Okay. And like, you, you see, you know, they got these little points and discounts, 20% off, 40% off. I'm like, yes. 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 So what are ways we can be more sustainable? I don't know. I think it's, I, I don't think it's up to the consumer, honestly. Like, well, okay, so it's, like, I saw this thing called, uh, oh, another thing that's, like, a bigger pollutant than, than fast fashion, concrete. Uh, I know you don't directly use concrete, but you use in concrete. Yeah, these, these, these are the shoes I'm going to wear tomorrow. Oh, look at that, aren't they? <gasps> to die for? And they're not even, they got pearls on them. What? Oh, this is the thumbnail. Okay. I am, I am in love. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. What was I saying? Concrete. That's, that's like a huge pollutant. So basically, when COVID uh, kind of broke out, and there was like uh, all these <laughs> headlines about, wow, there's now dolphins in the Venice Canal. You know, because there's no stupid humans around to like ruin everything. So the dolphins are coming back. And wow, the flowers are sprouting. It was like all these little stories like that. And so apparently only 7% of carbon emissions. No, we only, with okay, with us being in the house and da, 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 and not like using, not flying as much or not driving as much and yada, yada, yada. That only um, reduced carbon emissions by 7%, 2020. So, it's not up to the consumer. It's 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 like big business that does. Oh, okay, these are these. This is some pajamas. Some pajamas. I love pajamas. <gasps> Look at this. It's so cute. So cute. So adorable. She always comes with the quality. For me, like they have. I think they have good quality clothes. Like, I mean, I've had very few misses. Most have been hits. Okay, more more bras more sets gotta have a set girls okay guys and girl people who wear long right if you wear if you wear bras and underwear i don't care what your gender is if you wear they have to be a set they have to be no more of the buying those packs of panties from target even though like i, I used to buy some packs of panties from target but no more no they gotta be a set they're twin they're they're, they're Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then I bought these boots. <gasps> what is what's that Cardi B song where she's like, um, you know the ones with the socks, the Balenciagas, the one that looks like socks. Like this is, this is it. Oh my God, the chicoration of it all. Like this is this is because I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna I'm gonna be going on a very special. Um, vacation um, in December for my birthday so y'all need to look forward to that I'm not gonna tell you where yet I'm not gonna tell you where yet but yes uh, yes yes uh, oh, 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 oh yes so yeah okay so all of that to say like um, I think that's that's kind of like all that I have um, all that to say like there's no way to avoid you know, like like the girl who's over here talking about. Oh my gosh! Some somebody was talking about. Oh, oh, oh all the vintage shops are full of sheen. Um, fast fashion is this and that. And I'm like, you say this on your phone because they're talking about the workers. Which which yes, we all are for workers' rights. Like we don't want to be. You know, we want everyone to have a healthy, uh, safe work environment. Okay. So I'm I'm a hundred percent for that. You know what I mean? But I'm a small person expressing my opinion. I just feel like, yeah, you say that all about those practices in the fast fast fashion industry while you're talking to your camera, which is like all of the materials in that stuff is like dug out by slave labor in the Congo or something like cobalt and stuff like that. You know, I don't know if that's in cameras, but I know that's in songs. 
and every phone and every electronic device that we could use, like iPads, etc. I'll need that, and that's... You ain't gonna stop using your phone. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, don't hate me. Y'all, don't hate me. I'm just saying, like, the world is just... Things will get better. I know it seems like... Oh my god, everything's just terrible. But it's, 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 it's... It has gotten a lot better. <laughs> gotten a lot better and it'll still it'll continue to get better okay businesses are becoming like a lot more like conscientious like i worked at a whole uh P as a pr a pr agent pr manager for an impact investing uh holding company and like basically all i did was like research all the stuff about like uh s what is it s d g s sub sub sustainable development goals that's like a, that's like private public sector like un type of stuff but i'm talking about um there's this word whatever it's basically to say that like you have to companies now have to really uh be mindful of their environmental impact just because like consumers are becoming more conscious of this type of stuff too like i've noticed that charmin charmin the toilet paper there was like oh my god y'all 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 don't worry we we trying to like we trying to get right we know we like cutting down all these trees in indonesia and in brazil and amazon and stuff like that uh uh to, to so you guys can wipe your butt and y'all y'all like took all the toilet paper uh during the pandemic which didn't even make any sense because it was like a it was like a respiratory disease like I, I would understand if it was like dysentery or something like that but not y'all okay whatever Sharma was like girl 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 we plant we plant trees out here i know we cutting down the trees but for every tree we cutting down we're gonna plant two and i know it's gonna be like 10 15 45 years before the tree fully grows but it's but we we we, we doing the work okay we we, we out here for, for, for indonesia and brazil okay yeah so this was like my unboxing I was gonna try some of the stuff on, but like, I don't really wanna do that. I kinda wanna like go downstairs and eat my lasagna. I made lasagna. It was so good. I think I'm gonna be like eating lasagna for the next week. But okay, so yeah, I hope you like this video. Let me know if you agree with what I'm saying, if I like just went on a tangent like I usually do. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, okay, so yeah, leave me a comment, and like this video, and share. Why don't you share it? Share it with somebody, share it with that. Anyone who tells you about fast fashion and like well, wh why they're so against it. I mean, they can be against anything they want. Like totally, totally, totally. I'm like here for it. Like rev the revolution will not be televised. Like I'm totally down. But yeah, okay. So anyway, yeah. Mm, okay. Rant over. Love you guys. Bye.